Hi everyone! In this video, you're going to find out if the Cisco CCNA certification is worth it. My name is Lauren, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. What is CCNA? CCNA, or Cisco Certified Network Associate, is one of the world's most famous certifications offered by Cisco. CCNA validates your skills in the areas of network fundamentals, network access, IP connectivity, IP services, computer security, automation, software, and data communication. In February 2020, Cisco retired its old CCNA exam and announced major changes to the certification. The intention was to incorporate the rapidly changing technological trends into the curriculum to equip CCNA holders with the latest skills and knowledge. Some of the key concepts included in the CCNA curriculum include programming, automation, networking infrastructure, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. After the latest changes, you only need to pass one exam to get the CCNA certification. The certification has a lot of value in the industry, especially with companies that are looking for candidates for networking, data communication, security, network administration, and system administration jobs. Many of these jobs are among the most in-demand tech jobs of 2020 and beyond, according to Robert Half's 2020 IT Salary Report. CCNA is both theoretical and practical. This makes it easier for you to understand IT networking. Cisco's CCNA certification is also one of the top five IT certifications in North America, according to Global Knowledge's IT Skills and Salary Report. According to Global Knowledge, over 70% of candidates prefer CCNA over all of Cisco's other certifications. CCNA ranked third on the list of top paying certifications in the survey. In order to get the CCNA certification, you must pass the 200-301 exam. The exam costs 300 US dollars. The exam covers network fundamentals, switches, routers, networking technology and protocols, network configuration, APIs, programmability, and automation. It contains multiple choice questions, drag and drop questions, fill in the blank, and scenario-based questions. In scenario-based questions, you will be given a detailed case study or a scenario, and you will be expected to choose your answers based on that scenario. Scenario-based questions test your practical approach towards the networking concepts covered in the certification. CCNA is valid for three years. Have you decided to get the CCNA certification? In the comments area below this video, leave a comment of yes if you've already decided, or I'm thinking about it if you've not yet decided. Now, let's look at the skills measured by the CCNA certification. CCNA covers networking concepts that are useful and necessary for you to function effectively in IT networking. The certification lays a foundation from which you can pursue more advanced certifications. These advanced certifications will help you enter the more upper tiers of the technology industry. Here is a breakdown of what you will learn with the CCNA certification. Network Fundamentals Role and Function of Network Components Routers L2 and L3 Switches Next Generation Firewalls and IPS Access Points Servers WAN Small Office, Home Office Single Mode Fiber, Multi Mode Fiber, Copper Ethernet, Subnetting TCP, UDP IPv6 Address Types and Virtualization Fundamentals Network access, configure and verify VLANs, access ports, trunk ports, configure and verify layer 2 discovery protocols, configure and verify layer 2 and layer 3, ether channel and compare Cisco wireless architectures and AP modes. IP connectivity, interpreting the components of a routing table, understanding forwarding decisions in routers, and configuring single area OSPF v2. IP services, configuring NTP operating in a client and server mode, DHCP and DNS within the network, SNMP in network operations, 
Forwarding per hop behavior for QoS, such as classification. Network devices for remote access using SSH and TFTP, FTP in the network. Security fundamentals. Different exploits and mitigation techniques. Device access control using local passwords. Remote access and site-to-site -site VPNs. Access control lists. DHCP snooping, dynamic ARP inspection. Security protocols. Configuring WLAN using WPA2, PSK, and troubleshooting wireless and wired networks. Automation and programmability. Effect of automation on network management. Networks with controller-based networking. Northbound and southbound APIs. Cisco DNA Center enabled device. REST-based APIs and JSON encoded data. For a more complete curriculum, Download the latest CCNA exam objectives located in the description area under this video. Now, let's look at the prerequisites for CCNA. There are no prerequisites for the CCNA certification. However, it is recommended to have at least one year of experience in networking, especially in implementation of Cisco solutions. Having a basic understanding of IP addressing, computer networks, and data communication will also help a lot with this certification. We highly recommend that you get the CompTIA A+, and Network Plus certifications before undertaking the CCNA. How to prepare for the CCNA certification exam. To prepare for Cisco CCNA certification, there are several options available. Let's review these options in more detail. Self-study resources. Many CCNA students use self-study resources to prepare for the CCNA exam. Using self-study resources has become much easier due to YouTube, online courses, white papers, forums, and books. Let's take a look at some of these resources. Books. CCNA certification prep books will help you understand the CCNA exam objectives in detail. Cisco has an official book that you can use to prepare for the CCNA exam. The CCNA 200-301 Official Cert Guide covers the updated syllabus and has 600 practice exam questions and tests. You can find links to this book in the description area under this video. CCNA certification prep material is widely available on the internet. Do not limit yourself to a specific book. Instead, use a diverse range of sources, especially videos and practice questions. Video training. Video is an excellent medium to prepare for the CCNA exam. Videos help you understand technical and complex concepts, and you can retain more of the information due to its more engaging format. Cisco has its official video training page where recorded video on many topics are available. You will need to create an account on the Cisco Learning Network to access this training. YouTube is full of CCNA video training. To make sure you understand every concept in depth, print out the CCNA objectives and search for each one on YouTube. This might take a bit more effort, but it's free. In the description area below this video, you will find a link to expert instructor-led video training to help you prepare for the CCNA exam. Instructor-led training. If you want face-to-face -face training by an expert, Cisco offers instructor-led training courses as well. Cisco partners with third-party training companies to deliver instructor-led classes. If you consider it valuable to ask questions to an expert, you can consider instructor-led training. Keep in mind that instructor-led training is usually expensive. For example, one such program on Cisco's instructor-led training page costs over $4,000. Practice Tests CCNA is a highly practical exam. You have to solve complex, scenario-based questions within 120 minutes. If you don't practice thinking logically in a limited time, you won't be able to give your best on the test. That's why you should do practice tests to prepare for your exam. Cisco has a practice test series with hundreds of practice questions. In the description area below this video, you will find links to Cisco as well as Measure Up practice tests. Practice Labs. The CCNA certification has many lab questions in which you are tested on practical concepts like switching, 
routing, identifying cable types, configuration of networks, subnetting, and designing networks. One of the best free resources for practice labs for the CCNA exam is GNS3 Vault, where you can find practice lab questions, their answers, video explanations, and configuration files. In the description area below this video, you will find links to the Cisco as well as GNS3 Vault practice labs. Now, let's look at what jobs you can get with a CCNA certification. CCNA certification will make you eligible for a variety of jobs in the technology industry. Networking is the core job area where you'll be able to use this certification. However, with the latest changes, CCNA also covers software, system administration, and design. Every office has computers and they often run into connectivity issues and networking problems. Companies need people with the right skills who can solve these problems. CCNA will give you a strong foundation to develop your career in the industry, starting with basic problem solving and advancing to high-level architecture, networking design, management, and strategy roles. Here are some of the jobs you should be considering after getting CCNA. Network Administrator Technical Support Engineer Network Engineer Network or Desktop Support Engineer Network Security Associate, System Administrator, and IT Support Engineer. Keep in mind that just having the CCNA certification won't guarantee you a job. You should always try to get hands-on experience from wherever you can. When you get your hands dirty with practical projects, having the CCNA certification will enhance your chances of landing a great job. You should also complement your CCNA with advanced certifications like CCNP, CISSP, CCDP, and CompTIA Security Plus, depending upon your chosen career path and industry trends. Let's talk about how much money you can make with the CCNA certification. CCNA could lead to a career with high salaries and growth potential because the demand for experts in the networking industry is rising. According to ZipRecruiter, the annual median salary for CCNA-related jobs is around $84,376 US dollars. According to Payscale, CCNA-related jobs on average have an annual salary of $77,838. However, keep in mind that salaries vary a lot based on geography, skill set, experience, company, and market conditions. Let's see what other people think about this certification. Here are a few observations from successful CCNA holders in the industry. The best advice comes from people who have passed the certification. Let's see how they prepared, their experience, and changes they observed in their career. Here's a comment from Reddit user M3T3KH4N. Here's a comment from Reddit user Phantom Slasher. Here's another comment from Reddit user Slipping Jimmy 54. the truth about CCNA certification. CCNA validates your skills in the area of networking and companies need people with networking skills. CCNA will go a long way towards helping you get your foot in the door. To prove your skills, you should also get hands-on experience to develop a real world understanding of computer networks. Combining this experience with advanced IT certifications could help you to get high paying jobs. Is Cisco CCNA certification for you? CCNA is one of the most viable options if you want to advance your career in the lucrative IT networking industry. You can start preparing for this certification, learn the concepts, and apply them in real life. You can schedule the exam whenever you feel confident enough. However, while preparing for the certification exam, you should also try to find actual projects related to IT networking so that you can gain experience. 
So, is the CCNA certification worth it? If you are new to IT and like to learn about networking, CCNA is definitely worth the money, time, and effort. Check out the video on the right to discover the top 10 tips and tricks to help you pass the CCNA exam.